what's over here oh my goodness oh that's not good okay we oh here comes the anxiety uh how many end over end flips are we gonna do okay folks you're probably wondering komodo how do you have so many empty planters well uh we're gonna be packing some parsley here today and we need to deliver a huge pack to the farmers because as you can see komodo doesn't have much money after buying that stupid driveway last episode okay so i think i can combine all these packs i've got packs up in the uh the house too and then once i do all these together i'll have a huge one i don't know how much a huge one's worth i don't think it's worth a hundred thousand dollars like i need uh, for the road to be repaved. Oh my goodness, I'm going to need more parsley. Also, by the way, you guys seem to like the idea of the squatted truck. Um, that is a thing. Also, Leo has water now, so it doesn't cry anymore. Speaking of Leo, where's Leo at? Oh, hey, Leo. Hi, buddy. How are you? But yeah, you guys have been getting a lot of love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, I did go and buy the heavy-duty leaf springs because today... I want to make this more into a work truck, so we're going to install the bed stakes uh, on here. That way we can have that elevated. And I need to go get the snorkel because, I mean, I don't typically go in the water, but you never know. We might test and see if it actually works. So stay tuned until the end. Uh, also, I need to collect all the loose packs I have everywhere. So if you guys are enjoying Mamba Zool on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I've got other plans. I do want to eventually get the, like I said, the road. I do want to change the old car into the original manufacturer form. And I do want to slam down the truck. But today I need to make the truck actually useful because we're going to have some hauling to do. Okay, we got more of these. Do I have enough? Oh, I have enough for a huge. Oh my goodness. Um, well, this better be worth some money. But yeah, I don't want to do just the parsley farming. Like, I really do want to get the uh, the sugar shack back up and working, which I think we'll do that. I think there's a big tank you can buy for the truck. By the way, we can't even take this yet. Uh, but I don't know how much this is worth. Hopefully a good bit. We better put these uh, heavy-duty leaf springs on. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Uh, hello, Leo. I like that you're not crying now. Yeah, people were yelling at me like, Komodo, you need to water your dog. Well, not water like a plant, but give your dog water is what I should say. But yeah, it should be uh, just a little bit of work to do on the truck here. Not a big working episode since, you know, the truck's in decent shape. We just squatted it last episode, which was terrible. But I do believe I'm going to keep this blue. I do actually like the way that came out. Okay, let's button these up here. So I'm assuming this is just going to be better uh, for overall handling and being able to haul stuff because obviously we have a trailer. I don't think I need a trailer today, uh, especially once we put these uh, little uh, sides on. All right, so we're ready for the wheels. Uh, I'm not really sure how low this is going to set. I think it is elevated, but it's not like super jacked up. Actually, to be honest with you, well, we haven't taken it off the jack stands. It doesn't look that different from the uh, the 12 inch lift. Okay, let's take these off here. Let's see what we got. It is not lowering that much. It does look pretty awesome though. Hold on, lower this side. Uh, okay, and boom. Dude, that sets really nice. Uh, I really do like that. Okay, so we got those. Time to get the sides on real quick. All right, so we'll place one there. Uh, is it just a couple bolts in the front, I think? Okay, oh, this is going to take big bolts, isn't it? All right, thankfully, I do have big bolts. Is it just the two? Or we'll stick those there in the front. All right, let's go put these on real quick. Big boy bolts. Okay, we can finally use these. Oh, it takes uh, quite a few. Uh, I don't know if I have this many. Uh, I think I have another pack somewhere. So Komodo actually lied. Um, he didn't have the bolts. I had to go back and get them. I had to take care of a couple other things. So I think we're good to go. Oh no, what time does the dealer close? I don't know. I need to get this uh, there kind of ASAP. All right, so we got that there. Oh my goodness, this is like a work truck. We need to go get the snorkel too. I think I could actually afford the snorkel. Uh, oh yeah, Leo, uh, hold on, you wanna ride with me? Uh, I don't think we're going to make it in time. I think I actually need to stop. Yeah, I got sidetracked. I went ahead and harvested the rest of my stuff. I didn't have enough to make another big pack. I was kind of disappointed. I think I'm short. Uh, I think it's... Somebody said it's like 27 packs. I don't know if that's correct or not. But I was definitely, I think, a little bit short for another big one. So we're going to wait till we get another big pack uh, to go a second time. But I want to do this. Like, I'm kind of curious how much we're going to make. But we're going to have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. This looks cool. This actually looks like really good. It's kind of got that farm truck vibe. Uh, we also, I need to go get that tank. I need to get that whole operation running with the uh, sugar shack because that was really good money. Like you got to where you s actually stacked up a ton of barrels. You were getting paydays every Sunday and it was glorious. So we need to get that whole operation moving. I've got most upgrades, if not all of them, I believe out there. So it shouldn't take that much to get it going again. Plus I think you can take like a huge tank of it 
over there instead of all the barrels. Okay, we gotta be careful. It still bounces around. Has anybody ever done like a truck full of the huge packs? Like, I, I'm actually kind of curious. Like, this better be a good payday. Also, I think this is the first time I've ever delivered a big pack. So, if there was a reward for that, I think we're about to get it. Oh, you know how mad I would be if we wrecked and it flew off into the water? We would go get the snorkel and we would drive uh, across, even though I think the water's a little deep. Yeah, I wasn't sure if Santa Goat added anything to this side of the island, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, like, most of the update has definitely been all this stuff uh, involved with the store area. But I could be wrong. Maybe there is something out here. Also, somebody said to go look at the dumpster again that something new is there and it's potentially for the truck. So uh, we might have to go do that here in a second, too. Because I'm curious. Like, we found the bumper for the car last episode. What could be out here for the truck? Did I miss the dealer road? Ah, oh, no, here it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 scoot off. Oh, don't fly out. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Gotta be careful with it. All right, I think they're back here. Oh, there's a dock over here. Has that always been there? Yeah, I forget. We own a freaking boat in the game. Like, we could easily be transporting it that way. I don't know if that's actually quicker or not. All right, buddies, let's do this. Leo, you might want to stay in the car. I don't think you want to smell the inside of this building. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Uh, boom. Dude, that was 10,000. Oh, my goodness. I only need to sell 10 of those things to get the road. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Um, what the heck? Wait, really? You know, I that's the one wheel that I, I don't think I actually need. Well, it's really smoking here. I thought I was going to get something, but, I mean... We got $10,000. I guess I can't be too uh, mad about that. Oh, forgot to do the tailgate. It's fine. Dude, this truck is so cool looking now. Uh, I don't know if I really noticed a difference in the handling, like with the heavy duty springs. They actually look like they're maybe working a little better. Uh, has anybody actually noticed a difference? Comment down below. Like, say anybody that's lifted the truck and then moved over to the heavy duty. Maybe there's a difference in the pulling. Maybe there's a difference in the acceleration with how the truck kicks out. I'm not really sure. Uh, but honestly, the truck is not my complaint. Uh, when we go back and do the uh, the car and turn it back to the original manufacturer, uh, we're definitely going to have to do a little bit of work on it when it comes to the, uh, the handling. I think that should be just tuning it a little bit, making it a little less aggressive on the acceleration. Oh my goodness, we're hauling the mail through town. Uh, thankfully, there's no police here. They would definitely be getting us. All right, uh, almost to the store. I want to try to rip the... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, that was not a good idea. That was too fast. Too we almost hit somebody there. By the way, I believe this is a new part too. This is the race exhaust. Man, I kind of wish I had that on there too. There's a lot of things I wish I had on. And then, of course, you got some of this. There's the uh, original manufacturer intake. Not rusty, which is cool looking. Uh, okay, uh, what did I come here? Oh yeah, snorkel. Uh, $3.99, there we go. Clip. Do I need to bolt this? Is this going to like fall off as soon as I take off? By the way, let me go get a second opinion on some of these. I've got the four light set up. There's a two light, uh, the two light in the front. I kind of like this uh, front bumper. Like I like this one because it's got the lights, but we already have four up on the top. So if I were to buy this, that was $2,000. Uh, let's go ahead and shove this in the back. Uh, I wouldn't mind throwing this bad boy on. Uh, I like the whole fact that it's got the bumper that comes more up over the headlights. Okay, so is the snorkel going to fall off? Like, I don't think you could flood the, the vehicles in the game in the first place. Like, I'm pretty sure most vehicles float. I don't know. We've never tried the truck, but we have crashed the car into the water. And uh, that thing floats. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have to bolt on the snorkel. It's pretty much just setting there. It hasn't fallen off yet. I mean, maybe if I bump something, it'll fall off. Oh, my goodness. I can't get over how good the driveway looks. Like, that is a sweet driveway. All right, let's pull into here. Okay, clunk. I like this bumper. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like that it's got lights on it, but I think having the little bit bigger one would be a little bit better. Oh my goodness, it's stuck. There we go. All right. Yeah, look how it covers over the whole top. I like that a lot. Okay, that is bolted in. That looks good. I like that uh, quite a bit. Oh, the dog is under there. Uh, Leo, you can stay home today. Uh, I'm going to go out and... Oh, you got food and water. Yeah, you get food and water. Uh, we're going to clean this up. We're going to paint the house again, too. It's been a while since we've done that. I, I forget that's a thing. I'm like, how did it turn this color? Oh, yeah, I did that. All right, we're ready to take this work truck out. We, oh, my goodness. This, uh, these heavy-duty shocks, I think, are actually doing a good job. Like, this suspension is getting it here on the beach. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Up. Oh, up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we got this. Uh, thankfully, there is no like parts damage in this game. Actually, I think that'd be kind of immersive uh, if you can have parts damage. That way, you have to do like maintenance on the uh, cars. Okay, we're gonna test the snorkel out here in a second. I want to see if I can find. I think it's over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we. Oh, here comes the anxiety. Uh, how many end over end flips are we gonna do? Oh, we landed. Okay. Uh, we're fine. Everything's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it is back here somewhere. Where is the garbage can? Oh, I think it's back over here. There we go. All right. So somebody said there's something new in here. I think it's a bumper. Okay, what do we got? Lock that down. All right, is it? Oh, thought it was gonna be in here. Huh, so there's a new front bumper in the game and I don't know, I thought somebody said it was gonna be in this place. Maybe it's somewhere else. Okay, I don't know if the truck's actually legit better to drive, but it feels better for some reason. Like, and I don't know if I'm just saying that because I'm just driving around having fun or something legitimately is better about the truck now. But all I know is this thing is a beast. Oh, uh, here comes the cabin. Wait, you don't think it's out here, do you? Maybe it is. Hold on, let's check out here. It's been a while since we've been out here. Yeah, it's like one of those things like, why even own this? The only reason to own it now is because of the buggy parts. We thought this is where we were going to be putting our underground bunker, and it's just like a big hole now. I still think there's something you can do in this thing. I don't know what, though. All right, can confirm. Bumper doesn't appear to be over here. Um... Yeah, that's the thing. I wonder if it's at our brother's house. You know, it just now dawned on me. Why did we not go here to the junkyard in order to try to attempt to find the bumper? Like, okay, it's not in the uh, the little pile, but wouldn't it be out here? And oh my goodness, is that... Oh, what is this? You, you call this a bumper? What the... This would work perfect for the slam truck because I'm going to make the truck ugly again. Oh my goodness. Um, well, we found it. There's the bumper. Um, that's one of those things where, like, if we were to lose it, I would be perfectly fine. Come on, Leo, get in the car. All right, so we're not going to put the bumper on yet. Uh, it's a new day. We're going to do one final test. I want to see how this thing handles the water. I feel like we're setting up for failure here, but this is going to be completely fine. Uh, so make sure we're in four-wheel drive. There we go. I know somebody's going to be like, Komodo, go in four-wheel drive. Hold on, this looks like it's somewhat shallow over on this side. Uh, does this truck float or does it actually drive down? Oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, that's kind of what you would be using it for here. Can we cross this whole thing? No, this isn't too bad. Dude, this is pretty legit. Oh my goodness. I think we're floating. Okay. The truck floats still. Oh, I'm sorry, Leo. Um, we have gotten ourselves into a bit of a pickle, but we wanted to test it. Yeah. I think the snorkel is really just a cosmetic item. Uh, we need to get some more weight in the back of the truck. I don't even begin to know how to get out of this situation. It's fine. 